Now the Jedi Council demanded the return of Revan and those under him, so that they answer for their actions. Revan and Malak refused to obey. They took the rest of their forces into the unknown regions of the galaxy, claiming they went to pursue the remaining Mandalorians. In truth, no one in the known galaxy truly knew where Revan had gone. Sarek, on the other hand, was free of his influence, and she chose to obey the Council. Upon learning of her choice, Malak advised Revan to use HK-47 to eliminate Sarek. If I were out to kill you, we would not be speaking. But Revan, seeing Sarek as a Jedi who was already dead, did no such thing. Instead, he allowed her to travel to Coruscant and stand in front of the Jedi Council and be a demonstration of their hypocrisy, their choice to stand still, to do nothing while countless innocents died, then to dare to preach lessons about peace, lectures on maintaining it, discussing, debating, pondering, commenting on the darkness of the galaxy, when they had never set foot into it, all the while condemning those willing to endure the horrors and evils hiding in the dark. And now, one of those who dared to do so stands before them 